as the reverse, ISO number two, will be launching tomorrow. So the day after I'm recording this, it will already be out for many of you guys that are going to be viewing it, um, viewing this video that is, and I hope you go check it out, Rupertverse.com. Nonetheless, see if we can do it again. But Rupertverse is a thing for a reason. It's not just some thing. I'm just like a passion project. There are issues that plague this industry. And I did everything that I could, top to bottom, from the creative stuff to the distribution, business, everything, to correct it. And there was this hashtag that was going on. It's called Comics Broke Me on Twitter. And you ha had a lot of people who were talking about either levels of abuse within the industry or, um, you know, not, you know, lack of payment, all sorts of issues that I've been talking about for, for a while now. But I think this taps into the psychology of it all. Many of them don't ever mention names of the companies that they're doing stuff for. We know it has a lot to do with the big two as well as the major indies. But on the other hand, they are, have a little bit, bit of delusion or they had because the delusion was comfortable. You don't want to ever admit that your ideological enemies were correct about the industry when they talked about it being on the decline. You don't ever want to have to admit that their model may have made a lot more sense and more beneficial for the artists and the writers and the letterers and everything else. They don't ever want to talk about that because, well, that's, again, paying some sort of credence to their enemies. And they don't want that. And um, strategically, I can maybe argue that it's smart for them to do that. But at some point, uh, smart for them from the like political, social political stuff idiotic from the actual economics of it all because you would think that you'd want to resolve the actual problem here now comics broke me i'm going to be looking at this from the bleeding uh, asshole they're not actually that fond of me but they did do a decent job of of collecting some of this this information uh, uh, with all these various tweets of people talking about comics will robeson we talked about him the other day not the other day, it was actually months ago where he was not mentioning names, saying that he was behind on a bunch of payments. Um, and, and, and in fact, there is some let me scroll up here because I was actually looking at the hashtag. tag. Yeah, he's almost at the top. There he is. Done work. DC, Marvel, all that good stuff says payments, payments, payments. Usually late, always low rate. Currently waiting on a month plus late payment. Now, this is the thing with the Riververse. You don't have to worry about that problem. You've not heard any artists or writers or letters have to have any issues because I make sure everybody gets paid on time. Fairly and on time. All I ask is that you do the work. Just do your job. That's it. And I'm going to make sure that you get, get taken care of. I do that for my employees. I do that for my contractors. But you have this person, Condra Wells. They tweeted. Looking at this real quick. Oh, they had me blocked, so I actually have to read it here. A lot of these guys do. Or is it deleted or is it blocked? Let me see. Yeah, it's it's limited. So they probably either are on private or they've blocked me. Every post about Ian McGinney is, is he was a nice dude, blah, blah, blah. He worked so much. He worked more than I thought was possible. All he wanted to do was make art. This is all this other stuff. Says no one should be working themselves to death for rates we are paid. Ian was the best of us. And I guess they're saying about this artist that recently maybe passed away that he was literally worked to death. He should have made it to 40. He should have had a lifelong career that enabled him to rest, to heal, to take care of himself. His death is shattering indictment of this industry. Hmm. Interesting. Uh, we have, uh, does this person have me blocked? Let's see. They just, just find that very funky. That some of these guys or a lot of these guys actually have me blocked. Yep, that person has me blocked as well. All right, like I said, these guys want to sit up here and go broke. Allow them to do that. I'm not saying like I'm going to own the industry. No, no, I'm just saying the, it's, it's proving the point that I made before I started going into this stuff. It has taken me over three years to work on my graphic novel because I had a 7K advance for over 120 pages of full color art and lettering. And that meant I had to pick up not only a demanding job that started at 45K in F in New York City, but also freelance. I had to prioritize money. I didn't prioritize health. Well, that's just economics and you have to do that. But a lot of this stuff is self-destructive. Um, I never saw family. I could only grind away because I am a brown queer who has been effing broken. And, and what that got to do with it? What, what is you being brown queer? I do with you. Th these guys don't get it. Uh, Ever broke and the desperation to not go back to skipping meals to pay rent still haunts me. So I am here now with wildly exacerbated PM, uh, all this other stuff, panic disorders, all these problems this person is talking about uh, with this industry. Look, now there is some economic illiteracy among artists that happens a lot where they think they should be getting paid to do either bad work or no work. And um, a work, let's say, that, that has no demand. Now that's just asinine. 
You had to work on your craft, all that good stuff. But I get it. Definitely when it comes to the major major publishers, they've been getting away with it for a very long time. But when I talk about it, I'm just bat crap. All right, let's say, uh, what was this, Mark Ellerby. Did this person have me blocked? Oh, first one that doesn't have me blocked. Says, boom, pay me and my buddy Clark $110 a pay split between us to do a regular show backup comic. That's everything from writing art, colors, letters. Then there's the exchange rate, bank fees, tax. Did anyone? We all have to deal with that stuff. Um, but, uh, taxes and all, all that sort of stuff. Did anyone read it? Did they? Why they out of, I guess this is another person, Casey Nowak. All these, it's funny. You see these guys about their awards and all this stuff, and they're having to pick up great jobs or other jobs because they're not getting paid. It's almost as if those awards don't mean Jack Dilly. It's almost as if, again, there's some culpability here. The industry has its problems. Some of y'all are absolutely a part of it, which are delusions. You do stuff for peers instead of doing stuff for customers, and that's also a part of it. And that person says, I drew Lumberjanes 9 uh, through 11 for $80 a page, one of the most miserable experiences of my life. I took up cigarettes. I kicked a hole in a cabinet door. I woke up stressed. Yeah, this, this industry is doing great, guys. It's never been better. Um, stressed out. I hate what I had made. I was embarrassed. Man, comics are doing, it's just booming. And Marie Rogers, am I blocked? No, that was the, no, not, not blocked. I don't even know what that it says. Uh, wake up and work until you go to bed and still can't make deadlines, which is ultimately why they let me go from the project. Oh, because you weren't making your deadlines. I get that, but you may be thinking, hey, I'm not getting paid. Who gives a crap? Kelly Fitzpatrick says, I colored an entire book in a weekend for Dynamite. I'm glad people are naming names. That's what y'all need to be doing. Says, I think it was Amy of Darkness Comics. I didn't sleep for almost three days. I think that one was my worst. You can't do your best work, of course, under those conditions. But then, oh, had some serious uh, issues. Said they uh, they say the stress doesn't help me. Mm, okay, okay. Lawrence Lindell says yesterday I was at a very low point, frustrated with this career in comics. Then I get to on socials. I see cartoonists has passed. Click through how they click through to read how poorly everyone is treated. Yeah, like he says something I knew, but naive. Oh, see, naively thought I could work around. I, bro, I've been. Look at these guys. Stan Lee Kids Media offered me zero dollars for all rights to my self-published book. Weird Kids, their contract also stipulated that I might be asked to do a promo and make changes for the books for free. Oh, uh, did you like take it? I would hope you didn't take it. Oh, or was it for the name recognition that you wanted? And this list goes on and on of all of these comic pros who are essentially saying I'm either we are work to death, I'm broke, and all this other stuff. I was right. And I'm not saying this to spin around in my chair like razor fists and kind of throw it in your face, though I very well reserve the right to do that. That's y'all's fault. Y'all facilitated an industry where y'all used and abused and you protected it when folks like ourselves were getting to the root of the problems. And it's not just creative stuff. If just that you listen to me, I know some folks like that. Whoa, 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 whoa. And that's all the only thing that everybody has ever talked about. But people that have listened to me know that I that there's a mountains of issues that definitely with the big two mountains of issues that I've uh, listed that have nothing to do with that. This, of course, being one of them. It's also what kind of lit a fire under me as well. And I wanted to make sure that I took care of everybody that works for me. See, those problems don't happen over at the Riververse. So I'm going to pull a Suge Knight on my way out. If you want to remain a star, you don't want your executive producer all dancing in the videos, all in the background dancing, come over to the Riververse. Especially artists. I can use some of y'all interior artists. Come on. Make sure you get paid comp competitively you don't get overworked and you get paid on time and y'all can and i tell you what and there's some of y'all that's already you know come over here. you know we, we we're picking up talent and um i'm appreciative of that and i'm glad that we're getting some great people to work for them but as long as you're not a now granted you're gonna have to concede some some points here um because it's gonna require you to have a little bit of humility about yourself Cause I don't want to just be bringing on hacks. That's not going to happen. But if you're not a hack and you understand something is wrong with the industry, hit me up, send our see your portfolio. Let's get to talking. Let's see what we can do. Cause I'm going to make sure you're taken care of over here. Or you can go down with the ship that y'all want to protect so bad. By all means, good luck on that. 